Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is Dr. Shazira and in this video, we are going to be solving a non-linear equation using newton raphson method. Alright, consider uh, this uh, problem here. So you are given a function fx okay, in the form of exponent of x minus 2x squared. Okay, so first thing that you need to do is okay, show that fx equal to 0 has a root alpha in the interval negative 1 to 0. Okay, and then after that, um, apply the new Raphson method to find the root of fx. Okay, starting with x not equal negative 0 0.5. Alright, so for number 1, that question somehow should lead you to the IVT, Intermediate Value Theorem, okay? So, in this case, you are given interval negative 1 to 0. So, it means you know that your A is negative 1 and your B is equal to 0. So, by the IVT, you need to get F negative 1, okay? So, it is exponent of negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1 square. Okay, so this one, uh, so use your calculator to get the value. So this is supposed to be negative 1.6321. And similarly for the B, so you need to get FB, which is F0. So you have exponent of 0 minus 2 times 0 square. So this one you will get 1. Okay, so 1 minus 0. So we can see that since Fe times Fb, which is F negative 1 times F0, so you can see the sign is negative. Okay, so negative times positive, so you will have negative. So you have less than 0 over there. Okay, so therefore, okay, so we have therefore, we can say that there exists a root, okay, there exists a root, which in this case is denoted by alpha, okay, in the problem, in the interval of negative 1 to 0, okay, so you have now proved the first one, okay, now, for the second one, apply the newton raphson okay, newton raphson method uh, to determine the root, okay, so number 2, so you have your fx okay, is equal to exponent of x minus 2x squared. Okay, so remember, the formula for the newton raphson is, so I'm going to write down somewhere here. So xi plus 1 is equal to the xi minus fxi over f prime xi. That is your Newton Raphson formula. Okay, so based on what you have here, so you need to get the f prime of x. So this is just a straightforward differentiation. Okay, so find the derivative of f. So you have exponent of x here. So this is now negative 4x. Okay, so now what happened to the expression, the Newton Raphson formula then will be xi plus 1 equals xi minus, okay, so we are going to put fx at the top, so you have exponent x, now it's going to be x sub i minus 2xi squared, that is the term at the top. Okay, at the bottom we have f prime, so exponent of xi again, minus 4xi. Okay, so next we are going to store the expression, okay, so we are going to store this expression here in the calculator, okay, so we will present our answer in the form of table only, okay, so form the table now, okay, now, so in your calculator, okay, so we are going to store the expression in the box, okay, so we have x, okay, so alpha x, okay, minus, then we have the fraction. Okay, let's have a proper bracket here okay, so that we don't miss anything. Okay. Okay, so at the top, we put exponent. 
So where is exponent? Okay, so exponent of x, so alpha x, and then minus 2x squared. And at the bottom, we have another exponent. Okay, so exponent of, oh, sorry. xi, so exponent of x, minus 4x. Okay, so press the equal button. So depending on the value that your calculator uh, already have for the x, okay, so you will see something okay, on the screen. Okay, now... Um, Back to the table, so when r equal to 0, at the first iteration, r equal to 0, so the corresponding x will be x0. So it is given to you in the problem, x0 is negative 0 0.5. Okay, and then for the first row, we don't have the difference between two consecutive x yet. Okay, so just put dash over that. Okay, now when i equals 1, okay, so when i equals 1, okay, we are going to uh, calculate x1. So in the manual calculation, it is actually when i equal to 0. When i equal to 0, you can see the expression here becomes okay, x1 at the left. Okay, when i equal to 0, so you have x1 equals, and then at the right-hand side, there are uh, functions okay, that involve the x0 somehow. Okay, so minus blah, blah, blah here. So it means in our calculator, in order to get x1 here, so we need to evaluate the function okay, that you can see in the calculator here uh, at the point x equals x0. Okay, so you press the calculate button here, so the calculator will ask okay, the x value that you want to use. So in our case here, it is negative 0.5. Okay, so the value that you can see here is actually the value of x1. Okay, so you have negative 0.5409. Okay, so cut to the uh, four decimal places. Okay, so now you can check the difference between x1 and x0. Okay, so minus x1 minus uh, x0 and take the absolute value. So you have 0.5409. 0409. Okay, so this value here is still way, way greater compared to the given epsilon in the problem. Okay, so it means you still need to proceed. Okay, so i equals 2. So now when i equals 2, it corresponds to the i equals 1 in your manual calculation. So it means on the left, you are going to have x2 and at the right, all the x actually x1. Okay, minus whatever term that you have over there. So it means in your calculator now, you are going to calculate the same function, but now your x is your x1. Okay, so you put negative 0 0.5409. Okay, so cut to the four decimal. So we have negative 0 0.539. Okay, and similarly, okay, you find the uh, absolute value of x2 minus x1. Okay, so you have somewhere here is 0 0.0011. I think you can get on your own. Okay, and then um, still, okay, this value here is still greater than 0 0.0005. So it means we need to proceed to r equals 3. So now in your calculator, press the calculate button. But now your x is going to be your x2. So we put negative 0 0.5398. Okay. So when you cut to the uh, four decimal places, so you, you will have the same value as before. So when you have that, so it is obvious to you that the difference between x3 and x2 will be 0. So this, this value now is less than 0 0.0005. So you know that you can stop here. 
okay because you already satisfy the stopping condition so that's it okay but don't forget okay you need to write down your conclusion okay because our intention is to know the value of x that satisfy the equation okay so we want to find the root so therefore the root which is denoted by the x asterisk here, okay, is approximately the latest x that you have in your table, which is x3, which is negative 0 0.5398. Okay, that's it. Very easy, okay, very simple calculation for the newton Raphson method. Okay, um, but you need to remember. Okay, the formula for the Newton Raphson is x minus fx over f prime x okay, at the right hand side. Okay, so that's all. I hope uh, this is clear to you. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.